Hello everyone, welcome to this next video on field theory. In the last video, we saw that every finite extension that is an algebraic extension, but we shall see that the converse to this theorem is not true. That means in general, any algebraic extension is not equal to the finite extension. So let us see this thing by an example. If we are able to find an example, an extension field which is an algebraic extension but that is not finite then we can say the converse does not hold in general. So for this we have considered this uh, extension field E is equal to Q and uh, with this Q the field of rational numbers we have adjoined infinitely many square root of primes. So square root 2, square root 3 up to so on, square root 5, square root uh, 11 and so on doing this, this becomes the smaller subfield of the field of reals which contain rationals as well as the square root of every positive prime. So basically we can see here that because there are infinite number of irrational numbers, so this field is an infinite field. But uh, for it to be precise, let us see it in a more, uh, more particular way in a more formal way. So we are saying this extension E over Q, this is an algebraic extension, but this is not an finite extension. So let us see first whether this is an algebraic extension or not. So for an algebraic extension, what we do, we take an element from this extension field and we try to prove this element to be an algebraic element. And if this element becomes algebraic element, then we can say that the corresponding extension field is an algebraic field because the chosen element alpha was arbitrary. So every element for this extension field was algebraic, hence the field would be algebraic. So we consider an element alpha, arbitrary element alpha in this extension field. And uh, so for this particular alpha, our extension field would contain some finite number of square root of primes adjoined to this uh, field Q. So we say up to this number R, up to this positive number R, these are the elements which are present in the extension field for in which alpha uh, belongs, right? So because this field now containing finite number of L, uh, square root of primes adjoined to it is a finite extension. Hence, the degree for this extension is 2 to the power r. How? Because if you adjo adjoin one element, say square root 2 to it, then the corresponding polynomial would be x square minus 2. And its degree is equal to 2, therefore this is 2. For When you adjoin uh, this uh, square root 2, square root 3, square root 5, three elements to it. For these three elements, we have three irreducible polynomial x square minus 2, x square minus 3 and x square minus 5. So overall, the degree of each polynomial is 2 and we have such uh, polynomials 3 in number, right? So we have 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 to the power 3 such uh, Polynom uh, polynomial. So the degree would be 2 to the power 3 if you adjoin 3 such elements. Now we are adjoining r such elements. So the degree would be 2 to the power r for this rational field. So uh, because this is a finite extension, that means because of the previous result that every finite extension is an al algebraic extension, this extension becomes algebraic and the corresponding element alpha, this becomes algebraic over Q. Now the corresponding element alpha was arbitrary and was taken from this extension field. Therefore, the overall extension field, the algebraic extension, it becomes an algebraic extension. So this was uh, the proof that the given field, this f extension field, this is an algebraic field. Now let us see that it is not a finite extension. In fact, it is an infinite extension. So for that, what we do? For proving this to be an infinite extension, we claim that this sequence 
is an infinite sequence consisting of proper con containment that means there is no equality here no two fields here in this chain they are equal they properly contain one another so that means if you have this field of rationals adjoint 2 square root 3 with it then within this you have this field q square root 2 and within this you have some field as q and uh, so you can you could increase this containment like this and no two such subfields they are equal to each other so this is our claim we claim that each new adjunction of square root of prime that is a proper extension that means each time you add a new prime to it so here it was just the field of rationals in this you have added this uh, number square root 2 to it in this you have in addition added square root 3 to it in the next one you will be uh, adding square root 5 to it so it would be q square root 2 square root 3 and square root 5 and so on and each one of these they are uh, the proper extensions of each other so this is our claim so first of all let us prove this thing that this thing is true for that we have considered and field f we have just named that field to be f in which it contains an elements uh, up to n where p1 p2 up to pn they are the n distinct primes so this is our field f we have just named this as f now we are to show that this field f that is a proper extension field of another field q square root p1 up to square root pn which is same as f now in f we have also adjoined one uh, element square root q into it so this is our f new field so we are saying this f that is a proper uh, nee, uh, no i mean uh, this field is a proper extension of this field why because we have now added one more element the square root of q to the previous field elements where this q we have chosen this in such a manner that it is not equal to any of these p1 p2 up to pn so now we for showing this to be the proper extension we must uh, let 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 me call this as z right so for saying z to be the proper extension of this f we have to show that this square root q element this does not belong to the lower field that this is the lower subfield so let us prove this so for this uh, we will use the uh, mathematical induction principle on this number n so when n is 0 that means we have not adjoined any element to it in this case our field f becomes q the field of rational numbers only so the ultimate next uh, field extension for this field that would be some q and an element say square root q attached to it so that would be the extension field for this field so now we are saying uh, this field is a proper con containment for this field why because square root 2 uh, square root q that is an irrational number and obviously this irrational number would not belong to the field of rational numbers therefore the square root q does not belong to our supposed f so this result is true when n is equal to 0 now let us assume that the result is true for n is equal to n minus 1 that means if we consider a field uh, of rational numbers where square root p1 square root p2 up to square root p n minus 1 elements they are adjoined to it let us call it some field f naught then we will assume that another field f that is f naught this whole thing and an element square root p n adjoined to it that would be an extension field for this yes obviously we are assuming this thing and such a field f over f naught that would be of degree 2 because now we are just adjoining one single element this to this previous field 
So that means here in this case x square minus pn would be the irredu uh, irreducible polynomial in f naught x where the coefficients they are in f naught. So the degree of this polynomial is 2 that means the degree of f over f naught would be 2. So this result we have assumed. So now let us prove the result for n for n that means our field f we wanted to prove that square root q does not belong to this field containing elements square root p1 square root p2 up to square root pn that means when you take another field q and you adjoin p1 square root p2 up to square root pn and then you adjoin qn so this field would be the proper extension for this field we wanted to show this and we'll show this by proving that the square root q this does not belongs to the subfield f so we'll prove this by the method of contradiction for that we assume that square root q belongs to f if possible if this is the case then what is the basis of this f the basis for this f field would be because you see we have f naught then we have f and then we have this new field q and the elements p1 up to square root pn and square root q and here we wanted to prove this is a uh, extension for this field so and uh, we are writing a basis for this over this what would what would be the basis of this field over this field in this field we have elements of this form square root p1 square root p2 up to square root p n and here we have elements of this form square root p1 square root p2 up to square root p minus p n minus 1 so in moving from f naught to f we just have to add one single element this one so this is this would be the root so the basis over here would be 1 and square root p n only and the degree of f over f naught that would be equal to 2 this thing we have just proved in step number 2 over here so uh, we wanted to show that this q n this does not belong to f over here so for that we will proving we are proving this thing by using the method for contradiction for the, this method of contradiction we are saying that let if possible this element belongs to f in that case we can write f as a linear combination of the elements of its, its basis that means these 1 and square root p n so we have just written it like this where this a and b they are from the uh, scalar field that is f naught over here so this a and b belongs to f naught so now we can square this thing and uh, we can then have a quadratic equation in of in square root p n so we can just simplify it and we have just found that the square root p n that is equal to minus a upon b plus minus square root q divided by b so now this we have assumed this q naught to be in f that means this q naught is also in f naught why this q naught is in f naught because of the second step that we have assumed and uh, this a and b they are obviously from the field x, uh, f naught so our p square root p n that also belongs to f naught but this was not the case why because p square root p n was in f and not in f naught and f was proper extension of f therefore this is a contradiction to our supposition that square root q that is a member of f this is not true that means the element square root f this does not belongs to f in other words we have just proved that this c uh, this chain is an infinite properly ascended chain containing the fields of rationals adjoined with square root of primes in increasing order so therefore the extension this one consisting of infinite elements which are adjoined to it that is not a finite extension of q 
so this was a very beautiful example showing the that the converse to this theorem is not true that means every finite extension is an algebraic extension but every algebraic extension is not a finite extension well that is it for this video thank you for watching